Hi everyone. Landscape photography is a challenging pursuit, especially when conditions are less than ideal. Learning to adapt is key to creating great images, and on this trip to the Cape, I had to adapt. Join me on this short photographic adventure capturing seascapes and abstracts. I've got a long exposure set up here. I've got a circular polarizer and a 10 stop filter on. So the exposure now is 20 seconds, F8, ISO 100. The waves are coming in quite nicely. I've got the tripod set up here. One thing I've noticed when shooting on the beach, and I'm sure those of you that shoot on the beach too, as soon as that wave comes in, the tripod moves. So I've pushed my tripod down quite far, and now it's super stable and ready for the next wave to come in. I regard this image as mediocre. The clear sky, in my opinion, robs the image of mood. I do like the effect of the long exposure, but that sky needs more interest to round off the composition. I abandoned the grand landscape and went in search of something more intimate. I found some beautiful abstract patterns in the sand, changing with every wave. The light is looking amazing now, but clouds have basically all but disappeared apart from over the mountain there. So I've chosen to concentrate on some abstract images. I'm shooting one here at the moment. The water's coming in and going, so these abstract shapes are changing. But it's really nice to walk along these rocks and pick up these abstract shots. You know, they're there one minute and gone the next. So I think with the light as it is now and the cloudless skies, I think I'm going to just shoot some abstracts until the, the end of the light. And then tomorrow and the next day, I'll try to get some grand landscape images, hopefully with some decent clouds. I really enjoy the abstract style of photography. And in nature, there is endless opportunity. I like the way the diagonal lines run through this image and love the low angle light enhancing the textures. That beautiful soft evening light makes all the difference. Towards the mountains as well, there's a lot of really nice mist flowing through those peaks and I think I'm going to shoot a couple of telephoto shots of that now. But I'm still concentrating on this abstract. As you can see the pattern's forming a little bit more there. And I will show you what I got. I could shoot abstracts for hours Exploring tiny areas of sand yielded some amazing patterns. The light was fading and the sunset shoot basically over. It was a great start to the trip and I am happy with the images I got. I was excited to explore more of this incredible coastline in the days to come. This video is made possible by the generous support of Outdoor Photo. It's day two of my little trip to the Cape. I was going to shoot Kochel Bay three nights in a row, but I've chosen to do something different for tonight. There's no clouds in the sky, so I've come to Betty's Bay Beach. I found some nice abstracts here earlier, so I'm gonna go shoot those. I feel like the abstracts are a better option when there's no clouds in the sky. So I think, uh, looking forward to seeing what's going to happen this afternoon. I found an image I really like. It was an abstract shot I found earlier, I did take a photo of it earlier in the day handheld, but I've chosen to concentrate on this shot now. I'm going to wait for the light to be at the perfect angle, just as the sun starts dipping below the mountain there. I've set it up on the tripod. I'm shooting at F11, ISO 100. I'm zoomed into about 100 mils, so at that focal length, the immediate foreground is in focus now, but the top of the shot's out of focus. So I'm going to do a focus stack to get everything sharp. The sun's getting quite low now, so I think I'm going to shoot the image. I'm shooting 1 60th of a second F11, ISO 100. I've got the two second timer on, focusing on the immediate foreground and I'll go through the image and change focus points to the top. And if it turns out well, this is what it looks like. I've decided to wait it out at this image there's only about five, not even five minutes left, so I'm going to capture that image again in the very last light. I feel like the composition is strong enough to wait for the perfect lighting, so I think it's going to happen in a minute or two. See all my footsteps <laughs> around this pattern. Going back and forth trying to find a composition that works. And I managed to find one at least. It's a really small patch of sand. It's literally You'll walk past it and you won't even notice it, but for photographers, I guess you notice these things. Beautiful. So the light's about to disappear. I'm going to capture this image quickly. 
shooting at 1 20th of a second, F11, ISO 100, two second timer, take the first foreground exposure, focus a little bit further up in the frame, take another exposure, and then I'm going to focus right at the top, and that's it, four images, light is about to disappear, and I'm happy with that one. Calling it a day. Got some nice images this afternoon, I'm quite happy with them. I didn't plan on coming here today, but I'm glad I did. Something different at least. Tomorrow there's a bit of a weather front coming in, so I'm hoping for some dramatic conditions tomorrow at Koko Bay. But I think I'm going to come back to this beach for sunrise. So we'll see what happens in the morning. Hopefully there's some cloud about. And yeah, let's see what happens. I was happy with the images of that sand pattern I got. And I think my favorite was the image with subtle lighting right at the end of the light. I was left excited at the prospect of the weather to come the following day. I'm here at Betty's Bay Beach. It's very windy this morning. I hope you can hear me. There's a frontal system hitting this afternoon and there's some nice clouds around, but the wind is quite hectic. So I'm trying my best to shoot. Found a nice composition, some nice rocks in the foreground leading to the mountain in the distance. And I'm hoping that mountain catches some light before these clouds settle in too much. The eastern horizon is still clear, but the clouds are moving in quickly. So I'm hoping that something happens here. The red glow from the dawn sky was intense, casting incredible light onto the landscape. The clouds stayed away from the eastern horizon long enough and I captured an image I really like. The colour from the rising sun was beautiful. It helped accentuate the textures and elements in the foreground perfectly. The sun rose and I continued my pursuit for more images, battling the strong wind and exploring the coastline further. I found a very interesting abstract image amongst the rocks on the beach. One that almost looks like a dragon. I set up a vertical composition and captured the image. Beautiful light was falling on the scene. Not long after leaving the beach, the weather got worse. Heavy winds and rain swept across the landscape and with it my hopes of shooting Koko Bay dwindled. But the rain stopped briefly and I took the chance to head out to Koko Bay. The break in the rain allowed me a few brief moments to capture some images. It was a rushed end to the trip, but it was a great experience watching the rain get closer to me over the ocean. I ended up getting caught in the rain, but it was so worth it. Certainly a very memorable experience. I'm happy with these two final images I captured. They definitely convey that dark and dreary atmosphere I experienced that afternoon at this incredible location. What an amazing trip this was to the Cape. If you would like to watch another landscape photography adventure, check out this video here where I photograph the Namib Desert under dramatic stormy skies.